to News First. Guam and the other U.S. islands could have their own Amber Alert systems if Congress enacts a bill by Congresswoman Madeline Bordalio. PNC's Washington correspondent Matt Kay reports. Bordalio will introduce the Amber Alert Nationwide Act next week in a bid to put the territories on equal footing with the states, which have systems to respond quickly in cases of missing, abducted, or exploited children. Bordalio's office says the congresswoman has local support for her bill from Guam's police and fire chiefs, who back her effort to fill a void in locating missing children. Bordalio's measure expands Amber Alert coverage from land border crossings to airports and port of exit from the U.S. It would also expand information alert systems to include not just motorists, but aircraft passengers and ship passengers. And it calls for integrating state or regional Amber Alert plans with territorial governments. Bordalio's bill sets the federal share of grant funding for such plans at 50 percent and 80 percent for systems alerting motorists and passengers, with waivers allowed if a territory can't meet its part of the requirement. The Congresswoman calls for authorizing $3 million for Amber Alert systems in the islands, half of it for systems, half for education and promotion. The U.S. Attorney General and Secretary of Transportation would work with either the Congress's investigative arm, the GAO, or the Center for Missing and Exploited Children to assess implementation and local readiness and training needs. They would generate a report to lawmakers and the government not more than four years after the bill's enactment. Matt Kay for PNC News on Capitol Hill.